now we have learned many verbs and their conjugation in the present tense so shall we see the use of these verbs in sentences so let us do one small exercise so the question here is mete le verb make the verbs aller do you remember the verb aller it means to go vouloir we learned this verb now it means to want so aller means to go vouloir means to want and connaître do you remember the verb connaître yes it means to know connaître and voir do you remember the verb voir it means to see so these are the four verbs they have given us aller which means to go vouloir means to want connaître means to know and voir means to see now we have to make these four verbs in the present tense so we have been given three sentences we have to read the three read the sentence first step is read the sentence identify what verb we have to place here which of the four verbs needs to be placed here and in which conjugation it should be placed so three steps first you have to read the sentence understand what verb we need to place in the blank and finally in what conjugation the verb should be placed so let us begin the first sentence is nu dash ala glossary now even if you do not know the meaning of the sentence you can use a dictionary to see the meaning of the words that you do not know if you do not have a dictionary there are certain clues in the sentence for example nu dash a now do you remember this word a we use it before a place so we dash and place so what is the verb that we would write here we would write the verb aller it means to go we go to the this place okay so now for aller so the verb we need to write here is aller now what is the subject pronoun here it is nu so do you remember the aller conjugation yes i hope you remember it if you don't remember take your notes it will be written there so for nu it is nous allons nous allons so your answer is allons nous allons à la glossary we go so it is very simple we just followed three steps first we read the sentence next we identified what verb belongs in the blank and finally in which conjugation the verb should be placed so let us move on to the next sentence try try doing this on your own and check whether your answer is right so je dash un restaurant you might think restaurant is a place but we do not have a here so je dash and we have a noun a restaurant so what would come here i know a restaurant so je connaître so the verb we need to use here is connaître and do you remember the conjugation for connaître yes we learned the conjugation and what is the subject pronoun in this sentence it is je so for je what would we write conne conne so your answer would be je conne what does it mean i know a restaurant so is the meaning right so it means your answer is right so finally the last sentence l dash achete de parfum she we don't know what comes in the blank achete do you remember the verb achete it means to buy so she dash 
by the perfume so what would be the verb here try fitting in all the four verbs so she, what would fit here is she wants to buy the perfume she wants now for to want it is vouloir so the verb we need to fill here is vouloir and what is the subject pronoun in this sentence it is l and what is the l conjugation for vouloir it is v yes l v achete de parfum so very simple exercise by practicing similar exercises you will be thorough with the verbs and their conjugation so what were the three steps we followed we first read the sentence we identified what verb needs to be placed in the blank and finally we conjugated the verb according to the subject pronoun in the sentence so it is a very simple exercise you can practice many more exercises like this